everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for tuning in today we are doing part two of the runaway pregnant teen series uh just to give you a quick introduction we have our two sims here we've got Cade redman and we've got jasmine martin and over the course of four sim days we are going to figure out how much we can renovate a house with the amount of funds that two teenagers can bring in so um last video we got to right around here so we only got enough for the nursery to get the nursery started um so they just got home from school it is 4 p.m and i'm thinking of having them again just do a couple of odd jobs i'm gonna divide and conquer i'm gonna have Cade focused on odd jobs and then jasmine is going to go dumpster diving in evergreen harbor so let's see what we can do here um all right let's have him move furniture and then that will start in a couple of minutes and jasmine is going to go dumpster diving and then we are going to have to um figure out a way to get them a meal so let's go ahead and oh we don't have cell phone service, so we can't travel. I almost forgot about that mod. All right, so we're just going to travel the good old-fashioned way. And head to Evergreen Harbor. All right. So in a couple minutes, Kate is going to go off and do his odd job. Realistically, like... There is always going to be stuff in the trash can, so sorry. That's the only cheat I'm going to have because people are going to be throwing stuff out, guys. Sims team. The trash can shouldn't be empty. All right. Other than that, we're just going to keep diving for deals here and see what we can get. Okay, we did not do too good on our dumpster dive today, guys, at all. And to top it all off, I forgot that Cade had not reached fitness level 1 yet because every sim starts off at skill level 2. So he only made $19 at work. But let's go ahead and sell everything that Jasmine found at the dumpster. And then we're going to have our sims take care of their needs. <gasps> okay, so for furniture, she only got the $85 chair. Um, and at least she found a salmon dish and acaraje i believe is the name a stuffed fritter um and a potato so we have some food and then she found some black dye it's weird it's telling me i can't sell it because i feel like i've been able to sell dye before okay there we go for 95 dollars okay um is Cade hungry no. Okay, we're going to have to sell, I guess he ate at school, one of these meals. Um, so I feel like uh, acaraje is going to be more expensive. So let's go ahead and sell that, if that will even get us. It's worth $110, but it won't let us sell it. That's so ridiculous. Ugh, okay. All right, that's fine. Okay, so we did not make out too well today. However, our one redeeming quality is we can leave Jasmine here to build up her skills and eventually do her homework, or we can come back and do our homework later. It's Cade's turn now. I'm thinking we're going to go, since we live, um, well, I mean, do we live here? Like, debatable. Look at look at our uh, our humble abode. But I'm thinking that Cade is going to go and try to see if he can complete any tasks um, in Henford on Bagley because they do have something called um, like helping out the community tasks. I can't remember the name of the actual tasks themselves, um, but we're going to go talk to Sarah Scott and see if there's anything we can do for her. All right, come on, Cade. It is time for you to be the breadwinner now. Aaron. So they're errands that you run for all the people that live in town. Uh, let's see if there's anything that we can complete tonight to give us some cash. So we have a simple request, signature drink, and a friendly visit. 
Would you mind taking a stroll and seeing how everyone's doing? Okay. So I remember this task taking quite a bit. So we're going to go see how people are doing and we will probably sell everything that we get from this. So I have to get the village package from someone. There's a sim out there with a package for Cade to deliver. Now it's just a matter of finding them. I'm supposed to meet up with someone who has a package and whoever has my package and then bring it back to me. Okay, so I do remember this being someone local. I don't remember who, and I'm not sure if it changes. So let's just go ahead and talk to everyone I know lives in Henford on Bagley. The shops are closed, right? Yeah, dang it. I was gonna see if we could buy a piece of grilled chicken or something. Um, and then let's see if we can get this done at least. I just don't remember where the pop-up is. There we go, ask for village package. Those boots are like so not fitting <laughs> the Henford on Bagley uh, town. Okay, he does not have it. Okay, and I definitely feel like it's not going to be Simon Scott. So you know what, since Kim popped over here, let's see if she has the package by any chance. <laughs> yes! Okay, so that's someone different than I remember last time, so I guess it does change. Okay, awesome! We got the package from Rami, and now let's go ahead and deliver the package. Maybe it's in activities? Nope. There we go. Deliver village package. All right. Bye, Rami. Bye, Thomas. Awesome! Are we going to earn $90 in two hours? I wish I could get paid $45 an hour. She said, thank goodness I've been logging this package around just waiting for someone to come collect it. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I was about to say, where the heck is the, <laughs> is my monetary compensation? Okay, let's see what we got to sell. We can't sell the cottage pie, so we'll try to see if we can save that. Um, we've got two choco berries worth $6. That's something. A common upgrade part worth $10. Okay, not bad. So we made around 100 simoleons there. Um, let me see if there's another one that we can do really quick here. We'll just have like a late night, I guess. Friendly activities. All right, let's see if that other $90 one is one that we can get squared away fairly quickly here. Um, thanks for checking in with a few of the locals and don't be a stranger. Aw, we will be once we get, once we have this baby, but you ever have one of those days where you've got too much to do and not enough time to do it? I need some ingredients for my next meal, but I'm not sure when I'll have any spare time. Okay, let's see. Do you ever, oh my gosh, does she want choco berries? No! No, that's so annoying. I just sold the choco berries and she needs exactly two. That is so irritating. That is so irritating because I bet you we're going to go to the store tomorrow morning and try to get this done before school. Or honestly, maybe we'll try and skip school and the two choco berries will be like twice as much as what we just sold them for. Because, you know, they got to turn a profit. That's so freaking irritating. That's so irritating. You know what? There's how, that's how I feel about that. Go away. Okay, so let's go home. Um, since there's nothing for us in town anymore. And I'm thinking we are going to get our homework done and get their needs met. So let's go do that. Okay, so annoyingly enough, guys, um, she is way too tense to get her homework done. So we'll just have her work hard at school tomorrow, I guess. And Kate is going to have to carry the academic side for both of them. So I'm going to have Cade finish his homework. They're going to go to bed. And then we're going to see what we can do um, with the $449 that we have <laughs> to try and get this house up to speed a little bit. I don't foresee us being able to do a lot. Um, but again, let's, let's just see what, what we can do. Well, mm, I'm debating going to the dumpsters, but honestly, the number of times that Jasmine went to the, and like dumpster dove and we just got recycled materials is like quite, quite a lot. So I am just going to avoid that disappointment. I'm thinking let's sell this fire, right? Um, we need the trash can, so we'll keep that. 
Let's expand this way and just a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. So what we'll do is we need a kitchen, um, kitchen supplies. So we can only get a fridge, huh? Okay. Well, that's better than nothing. And with these $40, can we get any wallpaper? It's the cheapest one. This $2 one. We'll get this like mint green one that could almost pass for like a, no, it can't pass for white. That is definitely mint green. Um, and then we have the bathroom here. That's $5. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Um, okay. Well, that is definitely something, right? They've got a fridge at least. <laughs> Me trying to justify this in my head. Um, you know what? Oh, $520. That doesn't feel very realistic. Um, oh, well. Okay, let's go ahead and sell that. And we are going to get a used stove instead. And one counter so we can prepare meals. Um, and we'll go through that. Wait, $100 for that? I mean, okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh, okay, I have this custom content counter. Okay, looks way too nice for this apartment, but let's roll with it here. Um, and now we have enough left over for a sink. So, oh, not the custom content free sink. Okay, you know what? We won't go with the free one, just again, for the sake of realism. Let's just get this $120 one. And we can use a mirror, that way we can see if we can calm her down before, um, when she wakes up, when Jasmine wakes up and uh, calm her down enough so she can do her homework. Okay. Okay. And maybe we can actually, I forgot we don't have any tile or carpet or anything. Let's go with a nice white carpet. Actually, let's see, let's go back if we can, what's less expensive. I think everything might be $4. Okay. Yeah. Let's do, that's fine. I'd rather spend a hundred dollars on that, there we go, than um, getting just a whole carpet and then we have to change some of this anyway. Um, all right, okay, so not bad. We actually made some improvements. Um, I am going to edit that. So I wanted to get a shower, a starter shower for them. That was an outdoor one, but the only outdoor one was $700. So you know what we're going to do? Again, for the sake of realism, we're going to sell this one. I'm going to edit their funds. So $0, $500. So we're going to say that shower was worth $450. So they had $9 before. I'm going to go ahead and give them $459. Okay, and then we are going to see what's next for the kid. So we can get like a little rug. That would be kind of cute. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, and what essential supplies do we need here? Because we're thinking ahead, you know. I know the newborn stage, you don't need like toys or anything like that. But I'm wondering if we can at least get some cute stuffies. Hmm, what can we do? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. <laughs> let's go ahead, let's get Blarfy. Why not? And then we'll get a high chair before we get a, um, or well, actually I'm sure we can do both. So let's get that for now. Um, we are really embracing tiny living. I forgot we can probably, let's use the money to make this bigger actually. <laughs> okay. Perfect, and then let's do just a very bait. okay. I got humbled. Okay, we'll save the $162, but I'm gonna go ahead and place this here. Oh, this freaking light, okay. Let's sell that for a little subtle saucer. Wow, that's so much brighter. Why does that not, oh, because of the fridge, okay. Let's put that there. And then we're gonna save this money. I'm gonna have them shower at school and then we'll re we'll be repurchasing like a tub or something instead. Um, perfect. All right. So now that everything is squared away there, he's hungry. I'm gonna have him eat this cottage pie before he goes to bed. 
And that was day two. So substantially bigger house here. We almost have space to start making rooms. <laughs> I love that. I love that for them, not just have one giant room. All right, Cade, you can clean up after yourself. There's a sink, dude. Um, but this is awesome. So we definitely got the makings of a cute little starter house here for them. Uh, still have not managed to fit their $20 bed in there, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to have Cade go to sleep, guys. And that was it for day two of the Runaway Teen Challenge. So this one was definitely a little bit more Cade-focused. Um, like I said, Jasmine is a little stressed about the fact that she did not want a child. Um, but they're making do, you know. We had that very, very small shack in the beginning. And now look what we got. Oh. Oh my gosh, I need to fix the roof, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> the whittle roof. Is it free? Okay, thank God, it's free. Ugh. I might need to start doing some adjacent roof hoo-ha because the bigger this gets, oh, we need windows. But you know what? This is so cute. The giant, the giant lot and then the tiny house. Okay. Well, guys, that was it for day two of the Runaway Teen Challenge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Very important. I know you. if you're not subscribed, you just forgot, so I'm going to remind you. <laughs> Bye.